Hi friends, welcome to Mech Plaza, thanks for your support. Today we are going to talk about types of pumps. And mostly we are going to talk about positive displacement pumps. Let's see. What are all the pump types? Pumps can be classified by two basic types of pumps. One is positive displacement and two is non-positive displacement pumps or centrifugal pumps. Let's see about positive displacement pumps. A positive displacement pump makes a fluid move by trapping a fixed amount and forcing, displacing, that trap volume into the discharge pipe. Let's talk about positive displacement pump types. A positive displacement pump can be further classified according to the mechanism used to move the fluid. 1. Rotary type positive displacement. 2. Reciprocating type positive displacement. 3. Linear type positive displacement. Let's talk about rotary positive displacement pumps. These pumps move fluid using a rotating mechanism that creates a vacuum that captures and draws in the liquid. Rotary positive displacement pumps fall into three main types. 1. Gear pumps. 2. Screw pumps. 3. Rotary vane pumps. Let's see about gear pumps. Gear pump is a simple type of rotary pump where the liquid is pushed between two gears. Let's see about screw pumps. Screw pump is the shape of the internals of this pump is usually two screws turning against each other to pump the liquid. Let's see about rotary vane pumps. Rotary vane pump is similar to scroll compressors. These have a cylindrical rotor encased in a similarly shaped housing to move the liquid. Let's talk about reciprocating positive displacement pumps. Reciprocating pumps move the fluid using one or more oscillating pistons, plungers, diaphragms, while valves restrict fluid motion to the desired direction. In order for suction to take place, the pump must first pull the plunger in an outward motion to decrease pressure in the chamber. Once the plunger pushes back, it will increase the pressure chamber and the inward pressure of the plunger will then open the discharge valve and release the fluid into the delivery pipe at a high velocity. Let's talk about various positive displacement pumps. 1. Rotary lobe pump. 2. Progressive cavity pump. 3. Rotary gear pump. 4. Piston pump. 5. Diaphragm pump. 6. Screw pump. 7. Gear pump. 8. Hydraulic pump. 9. Rotary vane pump. 10. Peristaltic pump. 11. Rope pump. 12. Flexible impeller pump. Let's briefly explain the main types of pumps. What is the gear pump? This is the simplest of rotary positive displacement pumps. It consists of two meshed gears that rotate in a closely fitted casing. The tooth spaces trap fluid and force it around the outer periphery. What is the screw pump? A screw pump is a more complicated type of rotary pump that uses two or three screws with opposing thread. For example, one screw turns clockwise and the other counterclockwise. The screws are mounted on parallel shafts that have gears that mesh so the shafts turn together and everything stays in place. What is a progressing cavity pump? Widely used for pumping difficult materials, such as sewage sludge contaminated with large particles, this pump consists of a helical rotor, about 10 times as long as its width. As the shaft rotates, the rotor gradually forces fluid up the rubber sleeve. Such pumps can develop very high pressure at low volumes. What is the Roots type pumps? Named after the Roots brothers who invented it, this lobe pump displaces the liquid trapped between two long helical rotors, each fitted into the other when perpendicular at 90 degrees. What is a plunger pumps? Plunger pumps are reciprocating positive displacement pumps. These consist of a cylinder with a reciprocating plunger. The suction and discharge valves are mounted in the head of the cylinder. 
In the suction stroke the plunger retracts and the suction valves open causing suction of fluid into the cylinder. In the forward stroke the plunger pushes liquid out of the discharge valve. Efficiency in common problems, with only one cylinder in plunger pumps, the fluid flow varies between maximum flow when the plunger moves through the middle positions, and zero flow when the plunger is at the end positions. A lot of energy is wasted when the fluid is accelerated in the piping system. Vibration and water hammer may be a serious problem. In general the problems are compensated for by using two or more cylinders not working in phase with each other. What is a peristaltic pump? A peristaltic pump is a type of positive displacement pump. It contains fluid within a flexible tube fitted inside a circular pump casing, though linear peristaltic pumps have been made. What is the impulse pumps? Impulse pumps use pressure created by gas, usually air. In some impulse pumps the gas trap in the liquid, usually water, is released and accumulated somewhere in the pump, creating a pressure that can push part of the liquid upwards. What is the hydraulic ram pumps? It takes in water at relatively low pressure and high flow rate and outputs water at a higher hydraulic head and lower flow rate. The device uses the water hammer effect to develop pressure that lifts a portion of the input water that powers the pump to a point higher than where the water started. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe my channel for more videos.